Hello, I'm Dave with RP Stock. Today we're going to be learning a quick tip inside of After Effects, how to create a digital glitch transition like this one going on right here. Now you have a bunch of these digital glitches available in our transitions and wipes pack on rpstock.net, so go and check those out if you haven't already. Alright, let's get in and see how to create something like this. First we need to start with the new composition, and we're going to call that digital glitch and we will make it two seconds. We make the transition two seconds long and we're gonna stay with HD there. All right, inside this new composition, we need to create elements to distort our footage. So we're gonna create some static, we're gonna create some glitch displacement maps, and we're gonna create an RGB split composition. So let's start by just bringing in, let's say what we want to our sample footage. I'm gonna make this the screen size and I'm gonna right click on this and just do guide layer because all I want it to do is be a guide layer to help me look and see what is going on inside of here. So let's start with a displacement map. So I'm gonna create a new solid and let's make that black. Click OK in here, and I'm going to right click inside of here and go to Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Now, Fractal Noise is a very powerful effect inside of here, and it's going to be great for what we need for a displacement map. So I'm going to change this from Soft Linear to Block and change the Transform, Uncheck Uniform Scaling, and I'm going to scale this maybe 8,000 here. Let's go even more. Now, if we increase the contrast, Something like that. A displacement map will use the white values to displace your footage and the black values will be pushed too and we do not want that to happen. So I'm going to throw in a color correction tint and I'm gonna change the black values to 50% gray. So that's 128, 128, 128. So those will not be affected. Now we want to make this glitch around here and I'm gonna do the evolution if we twirl this down here, oh, it's already twirled. Alt click on the stopwatch and we're gonna type in time times 200. And if we preview this, we can see a little bit of what's going on in here. I'm gonna actually make this a little bit higher, so 500. And it's kind of cycling through. Perfect. Now let's just call this displace one. I'm actually gonna pre-compose it into its own comp. So displace one, click okay there. Now we can turn this off and if we want to see how we're doing a displacement map here, we need to create a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, we're going to go to distort displacement map and I'm going to select displace one, use the luminance. And if we do no vertical displacement and we do, now that's happening because I did not collect effects and masks because the pre-composition did not bring in our effects here. So I'm going to copy these, control X, go into here and paste them. So there we go. I didn't move all of our effects into the new pre-comp. So look at that. Very cool on the adjustment layer. Now, if you don't like this going on over here, the way to fix that is to do a stylized motion tile, drag that above your displacement map, mirror the edges, and we're gonna do output width a little bit higher. Now, if we preview through this, That is our first displacement map on there. Now I don't want this to occur the whole time. So I am going to navigate down my opacity here and just do zero, 100. One second is where we want our edit to occur. So I'm going to hit actually hit a marker in here, unclick on the footage, add a marker, and just write a note here for myself, place edit here. And this is gonna be 100% too. I might drop it down in between here to 62. 45 just putting random values in here to make sure it goes out to zero at the end so if we preview through this there we go a little static going on there a little adjustment actually I'm bringing up static here because I'm gonna create a static layer here so static one it'll be two seconds long and we need a new solid okay and I'm gonna do fractal noise again so noise and grain fractal noise and in order for this to work, we need to do the opposite of what we did before. We need to scale down our footage here. And now I can increase the contrast here. And I'm gonna put another levels adjustment on this. So I can kind of isolate our no, other way. Let's see here. There we go. 
something similar like this. And now I want this to check down evolution options and I'm going to click on the random seed here and type times time, time times 100. And if we preview through that, we get a little bit of static here. I'm going to, let's see if we can isolate a little bit. There we go. Bring down the contrast there. Great, so if we head back into our digital glitch and drag static one underneath our adjustment layer, let's say. And now we need to screen it on top of our footage. So the static is also getting displaced underneath there. Now I'm going to hit T and mess with the opacity on this one too, so. creating some random keyframes in here. Now I'm gonna add some vertical, so we got some horizontal displacement map going on here. I'm going to do another displacement map. I'm gonna duplicate this comp right up here. So dis displace two, double click on it, head into the fractal noise, and I'm going to change the transform here. So I'll put this back to 100, and I'm going to change this one. Create that going up here. I actually want it a little bit blockier. I'm gonna scale it out so it's, there we go. And for this one, I don't, I'm not gonna have it evolve. So I'm gonna hit double, I'm gonna double click on the U to bring up our expression here and delete this out of here. I want it to be the random seed. I'm gonna alt click on random seed and do time times 50 or something. So it's constantly bouncing around. Now let's see what that looks like. Go back into digital glitch, drag that displacement in here. Turn it off, and I'm gonna create another adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna rename this one uh, horizontal displace. And I'm gonna duplicate this one and just name this one vertical displace. And head into the displacement map and we're gonna change this one to displace two. And I'm gonna turn off the horizontal displacement and turn on the vertical. And we also need to do the height here on the motion tile. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, that is all sorts of glitched and messed out, all right. All right, now let's get into the RGB split. How do you do that? Let's go in and create a new composition and call it RGB split. Two seconds is fine. And I'm going to drag footage in here so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna drag our footage, do guide layer. I'm gonna scale this down so it fits the screen here. And we need to start, we need to make red, blue, and green channels all separately. Now to do that, we need a new adjustment layer. Right click and do a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to do channel, shift channels. Let's start with red. So I wanna turn off green and turn off blue. So there's the red channel. I'm gonna duplicate this guy. Actually, before I do that, I know I'm gonna need the offset distort. So I'm going to distort and click an offset there. Now duplicate this layer and I'm going to turn off red. Turn off red, turn on green. And I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna turn off the green on this top one and turn on blue. So if we go back and rename these red, that one's blue up there, this one's green. Okay. Now if you look, we that's not what we want. We need to change this to add layer. So they are all on top of there. And if you go onto one of these and then move the offset, you'll see we got our blue going on here blue shifting. Now we want to randomize how this effect is happening. So in order to do that, we need an expression here on the offset. So I'm gonna alt click on shift center. And for this, I'm just going to have it wiggle on the horizontal. So in order to do that, open bracket, wiggle. And inside the wiggle, we are gonna have it do 10 for 100 there, close parentheses. And we only want that to occur on X, so on the zero value. And we want Y to remain the current value. We'll close that bracket. I believe that should be good. And if we take a look at this and preview this. Perfect. I'm going to copy that expression, head to the other channels, hit it. I'm going to change this to maybe 200. Uh, 200? No, let's do 50. Or 50 there. And then I'm gonna go down here and do it again. And I'll change this to maybe it's moving five and 75. So if we preview this, 
got a little RGB split going on here. Now I want to randomize how the opacity is through these. So I'm gonna put in a null. Let's go right click, new null object. And I wanna make a slider on here. So expression controls, slider control. And this is gonna be opacity, slider. Just the easy way to control all of this. So select all those, hit T, I'm gonna pick whip. Let's go back to the null here. I'm gonna pick whip to the slider, so that'll be 0%. I'm gonna go on here and copy this, go to the opacity of green, put the same thing in there, opacity of red. And this one I'm just gonna adjust by 0.2. Oops, I need the times in there. Times 0.2, and this one will be times 0.05, let's say. Okay, so if we head to our control layer up here and we adjust this value, we should see an adjustment down here of what's going on. So I actually want to, let's see if we can divide this. Divide instead of times to make it seem a little bit. Perfect, okay, so I'm going to hit zero on my slider here, move it up a little bit. Keep changing these up. I'm gonna hit U so I can see these frames in here. I'm gonna select them all and easy ease them. So let's preview this. So we're just adding a little bit of variation to each channel here. Perfect, let's head back to our digital glitch. And now we want this to occur, RGB split. Drag that in here. Let's have it go over the static. And in order for it to work, we need to collapse the transformation so we can see the values going on. Now we can also go in here and adjust the opacity. So let's say it starts zero, goes up to here, just so it's not overkill. This one will be it all the way up. So let's preview. Nice, I'm gonna add one more static element here. So if we head into new layer, I'm just gonna show you how I did one of these other static elements. Black solid, I'm going to fractal noise it, which is under noise and grain, fractal noise, there we go. And I'm gonna block, let's see block, clip, and let's see what we can find something different here. Dynamic, turn off the sc uniform scaling. I'm gonna go all the way up. I'm probably gonna do 10,000 here. Increase the contrast, lower the brightness. Right, change the rotation here a little bit. I'm just messing with these different structures here. Okay, so let's go into a levels control in here. Very nice. And now I'm going to put on a distort, turbulent displace. But I'm gonna make the amount small and the size small. I'm gonna isolate this so I can see what's going on here. And we are gonna change the evolution. Time times 100. Oh, that's on the turbulent displays. I want that on the fractal noise here, so time times 100. I kinda want the dis... Let's turn this to the random seed, so time times 50. Preview through there. That's looking cool. Now I need to add a little bit of an offset here. So I'm gonna, let's see, so if we spin it on this, shift channel, go this way. And I'm just putting in random random numbers in here. Okay, so uncheck that, and let's see if we screen on top of there and change the opacity here. Great, so I'm going to make some keyframes for the opacity here, so it starts on zero, ends on zero. 
nothing in the middle here. Kind of getting some static coming in. Static out. Static back in 100%. Static back down. And let's preview. That's great. Now let's see what it looks like on our example project here. So digital glitch, drag that in here. And we're gonna see how the place edit marker was great. If we go here, we're not gonna see anything happening. We need to collapse the transformation. And there you go, there's a random glitch transition created easily inside After Effects. Now, on the R RGB split, let's see if I hit W here, and let's say I wanted this to occur on the Y axis. Right now it's on the, it's on the X axis. So I'm just gonna delete this out of here. And in the beginning here, I'm gonna do value, and we're gonna say the X value, zero, is just the current value, comma, wiggle this one on one here. And so you can make one go up, one go down. So it looks like blue's going up and down here. Just to, you know, randomize what's going on here. I'm Dave with RP Stock. Thanks for watching. Head to rpstock.net for free tutorials, free packs, and a bunch of great editing tools. This transitions and wipes pack is available.